Lizzie Bird, welcome back to Sonic Frontiers. In the last episode, we made our way through more of Cornus Island and defeated Gigantos, our first Titan boss, a Super Sonic. It was so exciting, but now we're on a whole new island here with, I think, Ares Island? Yeah, very cool. But we're not gonna be doing too much here in today's episode. I actually wanted to spend more of my time back on Cornus Island and completing whatever we could. Um, I don't know how much time this is gonna take, but I'm pretty sure there's still a couple more levels we need to get through. There's some older levels we need to do for sure. I also need to grab a couple of rings, so Sonic is not doing so well right now. Okay, let's grab those. But yeah, this is where we started things before, which is perfect. It's exactly where I wanted to get started with things now. So this was 1-1. One, one. And for this one, I do need to clear with the nest rank time and get 150 rings along the way. So let's go for it again. And hopefully this time we can get everything we needed. So here we are back on 1-1, one, one, already getting some nice memories from, of course, the very first episode. But we're just gonna be zooming through things as much as we can. We're not worried about red star rings or anything like that, just rings and our general time. So hopefully that goes well. I don't know what the time that we need to get to is at the moment, but we'll just do what we can to get to it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Then we just move. Yeah, I gotta get on the, okay, maybe not that one then. <laughs> no, why am I going that way? That's not gonna help. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, there we go, much better. So I might not get the S rank right away, but we're just trying to get through to find out what that time really is. So I'm just going to ignore a lot of these enemies because really that's typically what makes us go by faster. But I am running out of time to get more rings. So I needed 150, I only got 104 that time. But let's see what our time was for like the S rank. Not quite enough, we got B. So I need 43 seconds, I need to shave up about five or six seconds to get that done. Let's give it another go. And hopefully this time it works. I mean, if I don't accidentally jump backwards, I think that'll help out a ton. When it comes to the rings though, I mean, obviously getting through all this is important, but I might just have to do a run where we get the S rank and then another run where we get all the rings. That's usually what ends up going a bit better. Okay, but I can go up here. I, I mean, it works for now. Got it, okay. And then I'm just going to dash through these guys and go this way. Cool. We're almost there, and I think I can beat it. Just a few more moments, we're at 40 seconds. It's gonna be close. Just keep running, Sonic. Oh, I don't know if we got it. Was it 43 seconds or 44? Ah, not quite. It was 43, wasn't it? Okay, let me keep trying with this, and hopefully we get it after a few tries. But it's basically this, this again, you know? And just getting a slightly better time, and then just slowly getting through it to get all the ranks. So I got both of the missions done this time, not too bad. Okay, so clear all four missions, so that should give us the rest of the uh, keys we needed to earn up for that one, so I'm glad we got that. We of course need to rush over to one, two, and get that one done, but along the way, I'll check the map to see what other things we can maybe complete, because we're already 74% through this island. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long throughout today's episode to get the rest of that percentage. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Not really sure what's in store for us for all that, but for right now, we got two vault keys. Don't mind if I do. So of course, clean the mission gets us a three additional vault keys. That's nice. So let's take a look at the map really quickly. Um, and you can see most things around here are pretty well cleared out, but right over here, there's a couple things like Amy. So let's go to over to get over to Amy as soon as we can. And while we're there, hopefully we can find some extra stuff. Who knows? But. So far we've been doing a pretty okay job with just clearing out the map, but these rails make it very convenient to get to where we're trying to go. So I do appreciate that. Okay, yeah, just back through here then. Doing a little loop the loop we're still not quite there. Whoa, ooh, right about here. There she is. Okay, let's go talk to her. Hi, Amy. So we gotta give her a couple of hearts so we can keep up this conversation. And there was one heart I missed over there, but I do know how to get that now, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. These ruins are almost like a puzzle. I know, right? I don't even know what I'm doing with most of these. I'm just running on instinct. Well, the energy that powers them is linked to cyberspace, right? And you took on that power when you freed me. Maybe that link is giving you special insight? Maybe they use that link among themselves. Like, instead of a language, they shared their thoughts and feelings directly. Yeah, maybe. Well, all I know is the idea of the map gets updated in my head, which brings me one step closer to rescuing you. 
All right, well, that's very interesting. So it looks like we're well on the way to rescuing Amy with that. Interesting, like, you know, some of them have like missions we can do, but some of them are just like that, where it doesn't give us a mission to do. It just sort of moves us forward. I know there's a spring or something somewhere around here to get up to that. Maybe it's this one? Oh yeah, and I gotta go all the way across and all the way over. So yeah, let's try that. But what I do to get that is I need to press in the left analog stick to do what I think is called a light dash or something. Just like that, and we just go through all the rings and get ourselves another heart. So that's another thing checked off for this part of the map. And I think that's everything there. So we can just go over to one, two, where we have to do more of the same, clear with the S rank and get a certain amount of rings. That shouldn't be too bad, I hope. I do wanna get on top of this rail though. Here, can I turn around? Oh, come on, whatever, there you go. And it should be uh, right over there. So I'll hop off here and hop onto this one. So one, two, let's get all of that done. But hey, so far, pretty nice progress. There's still so much more to this island though. So try not to get ahead of myself too much with it, but here we go for another one. Okay, we're back to one, two, which might be one of my favorite levels so far. So let's focus on the rings first. We needed 80 rings for this one. I feel like that shouldn't be too bad, but I guess we'll find out. Let's go up this way. And obviously I'll try for the, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I missed a good couple there. But um, we're already at almost 50 of them. So I think as long as I don't fall off or get hit by that one spiky thing is what happened last time. Hopefully we'll just be able to get things done. Um, but maybe we'll even be able to get the required time as well. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, just trying to grab these rings. We're already well over our requirements. So once again, if I don't get hit by the end of this level, then at least is that done. This level definitely has a good sense of speed though. Come on, got it. Let's loop around this whole deal. Oh, and the death egg is in the background? I didn't even see that before, did I? That looks so cool. Okay, jump over that one. I learned my lesson and boom, we're done there. But was that VS rank time? Ooh, not quite. So I needed 55 seconds. So that wasn't even an A rank. Okay, pretty tough then. Oh, I got it. Okay, that one took a ton of tries, but it is just super duper split second movements for that one. That one was a huge step up in terms of difficulty compared to all the other S rings we've done so far, but I'm glad that I finally got it done. Jeez, really tough one, but we're good to head out of here. It wants me to do some more stuff, but I'm getting more used to it. I feel like we're getting better with the controls, which is always fun. Anyways, we're back to the overworld. It's now probably a good time to take a good look at the map and just sort of see what other things we can do around here because this is where we got to more of the open world section. But turning another one of these levels from red to blue is always nice. We should get a couple of keys for it. Yeah, two more there and then I guess an additional three. So five in total? That's always good. So with that done, let's take a look at the map. Um, and you can see there's still a fair chunk of things to explore and at least fill out here. I don't know where the next mission could be. I'm not seeing anybody or, or any ones around here on this part of the island, so I think we're good to move forward, but what is this again? Oh, that's just gonna give me extra rings and stuff. But that's what I'm just looking around for to make extra sure, is that there's no other missions around here that I need to get done, but I think we're in the clear with those. What about over there? Nothing that I see in terms of emissions. Yeah, we're gonna head off of this island and onto that part over there. So hopefully we find some stuff like that. Cause where am I now? I guess, yeah, here. Where could be the next one that clears this stuff off, you know? I do see this, I don't know what that is. So I definitely wanna check that out. So we still have, of course, one three that still needs the S rank, I think. But beyond that, there is this thing that I marked on the map over here. Oh, is it the uh, sage again? It is sage. So sage has been getting in our way, but seems to be Eggman's assistant in some way. Oh, that's you. Oh, hey, you show up everywhere. You know, I, I don't think we were ever properly introduced. I'm Sonic. I know who you are. Your age, your biometrics, your weaknesses. You live for speed, are short-tempered, and short-sighted. Oh, so you're a fan. 
but I don't know anything about you, Miss... I will not share personal information with an enemy. Why are we enemies? <sighs> Weird kid. I don't really get a bad vibe off of her, though. It is interesting that sometimes we'll be okay with just talking to Sage, and other times, you know, Sage is attacking. But hey, we got ourselves some more um, Cocos there, so we'll definitely want to collect those. But so far, we're not finding whoa, too much beyond just, uh, oh, here we go. Maybe spoke too soon. Yeah, I wasn't finding too much beyond just a couple of rings here and there. Here's another heart for us, but we're over 100 of these, and it just feels like we're not ever using them, so just gonna leave that be. I don't see too much more to do around here besides get the S rank for this level. So that's what I'll focus on for now. Grab a Coco here and there whenever we can find them. But let's try this out. So for one, three, clear with the S rank time. So I might try once just to see what that S rank time is. But so far, I mean, one, two is really challenging, but the rest that we've done haven't been so bad. There's been lots of room for error and still being able to get the S rank. So we'll see how this one fares compared to all that. Okay, so we're back here on 1-3, and I was so preoccupied with the uh, Red Star Rings last time that I know I didn't go through this level very quickly. So we're just going to focus on doing that a little bit, and hopefully things turn out well. Okay, got it. Oh, gotta go up here. Gotcha. And then whenever we're in the air like that, and we're just sort of, I guess, building up a lot of hang time, just waiting to go back down. We can always just press circle to dive down, and that's usually a bit better. Okay, that's not what I wanted too much. Go back over here. I gotta be careful here because, uh, whoa, Whew. we could vault or doom if we're not careful, but we're boosting through. It's weird, the side-scrolling sections just don't feel very quick at all so far. Is that a tank? How did I miss that last time? That was cool. I mean, sometimes we'll hit things like that and go really quick, but it's not too common. And there we go, that's the end of the level. I don't know what our time was or what we needed for an S rank, but apparently that was enough. Like that time I just first tried it and I really wasn't even going that crazy fast. So it shows you how weird that previous level was with how difficult it was. But there we go. I'm glad we got it done. Now we just gotta, you know, wait through all this. Which, hey, I'm doing better with it, I think. That's nice. Anyways. Let's see what we got going on here. So we're back out here on Kronos Island, another level fully completed. And as far as I understand, the last level we needed to complete, we got one vault key for it, and we should get another additional three for getting the rest of them. Yep, there we go. But all I've seen so far is one, one through one, five, and I think with that being done, we've gotten all those done. Um, that does make me curious if we take a look at our maps. We were at 71% to start today's episode. It's not gonna show me here. Does it show me anywhere? Do I have to switch to the other area and back to here to see the completion? I guess, so there's still, it looks like there's a ton more to do. So I'm definitely gonna keep chipping away at it, but what is this over here? It seems like, yeah, there's another one of you to fight. Azura, I guess I should try it, but is there really too much of a need to at this point? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I might leave it just out of curiosity, trying some other stuff here. Oh, I can't pull up the map anymore. So maybe I just have to fight you. Okay, so be it then. We'll take you out real quick. Or or not, okay. Um, let's wait for that to happen again. Come on, come on, you're gonna slam down. But we know what we're doing with this a lot better. And because we're unlocking more power-ups and everything, hopefully it'll be easier than before. I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, yeah, if I could do something like that, that's always pretty good. And that's gonna break the first bit of it. And it always knocks you away. I don't think there's any way you can recover fast enough. You can climb up it though. That's not so bad. There we go. Ooh, okay, wait. Got it. Almost there. And then don't get hit by that. I got hit by it, I think. Maybe. Much better. Okay, there's that part broken. I'm still just trying to stick around a little bit and just deal with this last one. A lot of rings right now, so I just don't want to lose them. Gotta go right between those ones up here. Come on, almost, almost, there it is. Got it. Just a little bit more. Don't get hit by those, no. Darn it, okay, that wasn't so good. It just needs like one more hit. Come on, we can do that. These enemies are so cool, I really don't mind taking them on again. Come on, okay, that was silly. This is my only chance to get through this. There we go. Just one more hit should do it, and there's Azura defeated again. So it seems like these, uh, what are they? They're not Titans, they're Guardians, I think? 
something like that, they're not as uncommon as other things. So good to know. Pulling the map back out. What is this? Is this something that requires daytime or nighttime, something like that? Because some of these I haven't been able to get to because it wasn't a certain time of day. But it seems like I might gotta do something here. What does that do? Uh, not much, seemingly. Maybe if I make them all raise up? No, no, no. Got it. I mean, clearly there, there's something. That gave me some rings, which is always cool, but I'm, I'm clearly missing something. Maybe if I go through all of them? Nah, I don't know about that. Okay, trying again. It, it seems to be a little too big though. Wait, ah, oh, darn, it didn't work. I'll try it one more time. It just doesn't work, okay. That's weird. Oh, oh, is this supposed to bring me, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm being so silly. All I'm supposed to do is hit this button. There we go. So that is another mission done, and it should uncover, hopefully, more of the map. Ta-da, it does. Very cool, so, ooh. I mean, it shows the Chaos Emerald there, but we've already collected it. It's weird, I guess it just permanently shows that on the map. So I wanna focus on these first. I think it's just better to do that, and then we can run through and see everything else along the way. So, over this way. We got it. Especially since some of these are limited to nighttime only, I think it's just way better to get it done now. But if I can get another treasure chest really quickly, those can be nice. Gives me another key. I'm up to 50 of them already, so I think we're making some great work happen. What do I do for this one? I'm guessing I need to, there's like a little ring of flowers. Uh, maybe I could do that a little bit better. I don't know if that's doing anything, because you can see the ring of flowers still. There we go, I got rid of all of them. Very subtle context clue for that. And that is another seed, and more of the map uncovered, which is the most important thing for me. Ooh, that really cleared it up back there. Great. And I see another one waiting for us, so I'm just going to grab the seed, track the next one right uh, here, and hope that goes well. Hmm, way over there, huh? It is becoming daytime, so if there were some nighttime restricted ones, that'll stink. Ah, yeah, okay, so I'll have to come back to this one when it's nighttime. Maybe that's what it means when it's red like this? Let me check out this one and see if it's the same deal. Because if that's the case, I'll run around and get other things done until it's no longer daytime. Oh, I see a lot of uh, cocos up here. Come on, gotcha. And, oh no, okay, I'm not gonna try too hard to get them. Just for now. I think I'm headed to the right direction. Oh, free treasure chest. And I maybe grab this. Got it. Oh, another gear. So we have no problem with those at this point. Oh, hi, ninja. I'm just going to leave you if I can. Hold L1 and R1 to parry. It is unnecessary to parry based on timing from incoming attacks. Pairing is effective against certain enemies. So, obviously this is one of them. So what I wanna do here is, wait, okay. Uh, here we go, I got it. And now we can do this. Ooh, so good. And then just a little bit more. Let's get over to you. Really easy enemy now. That was great. I mean, it's a lot of extra experience, I think. Or at least it's gear. It, it, you know, that's something. Okay, getting up here. And this one. This one does not require daytime. So it being red has nothing to do with that. But what do I do for this one to work is the question. Just go through here. Huh. Gives me a better view of what's going on. Oh yeah, it's, there's just a button here. So if I circle the button, that activates it. Or something. Oh, it's a ring. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have to go through this. Oh, wait. No, wait. I know what to do. Stop this. I don't want this. I'm supposed to knock this through the ring. There we go, a little bit of bowling. Okay, so that was interesting, and that unlocks more um, rails that we can get through more easily. That was great. I just gotta remember that one down there for when uh, it's nighttime. But in the meantime, we have another one waiting for us. Where? I'm here, there's another one up there. Let's go for this one. 
So where exactly is that? In the opposite direction. There was a cool ravine down here too, which is just fun to look at. The atmosphere to this game is amazing. I've been really enjoying that part. But for now, I'll mostly be ignoring the enemies because I don't give too much experience. So I don't want to divulge a ton of time in doing that if I don't have to. But it seems quite important to you know, go to older areas and grind some stuff up. I'm going to guess this is the same deal as before. It is, so it's gonna knock the ball into the ring. This one's a little bit more tricky. Uh, so it's gonna find the right angle. Oh, come on. So I guess hitting it from below will give it more of an upward trajectory. Awesome. So even more guide rails. And hey, who look who it is. It's uh, Sage again. Well, that was a good chunk. And there's another one up there. So I'll talk to Sage really quickly. Since we're here, you know, might as well make the most of the time. Uh, hi, Sage. So I'll give you a bunch of these, technically, but also technically not. Are you trying to figure out the mysteries about these ruins, too? It's kind of spooky everyone seems to be gone, huh? The technology of the ancients exceeds your modern understanding. Unwelcome pests like you will be swiftly eliminated. Okay, I'm trying to be civil here, but are you saying they lost control of their tech and it wiped them out? No! Okay, okay. So you're not in a talking mood. I'll leave you be. It's interesting because the Sage goes back and forth between being hostile and being not hostile. I know our main goal is to protect Eggman. Okay, so what else do we have around here? Oh, some extra experience there. Oh, those are always good to find. Because they jump us up a couple levels. We're up to level four now. I think I need to be level five for another one. But in the meantime, can I do this? Yes, I can. So let's try that. Ooh, up there, okay. Yeah, I gotta hop on top of the platform by tackling into it. And then there's a button. Great. So that's another section cleared out. Very relieved to see that. And the seat is waiting for us up here too. Just little chunks at a time, we're getting through it. And right down there, was that another level? I think so. Well, we might have already done that level. Either way, um, I'm going to try to jump all the way over. It gave me the chance to dash into it, sort of. I don't know, that was odd. I might wanna try again, actually, if it lets me. Yeah, let's get up there. Okay, uh, can I get up there? Uh, maybe? It's not going up as high as it did last time. Oh, there it goes, which is a little confused, I guess. Okay, those, okay, that that's not a good idea then. <laughs> Never mind. Those just hurt me. But that place seems to be a bit of a mystery for now, but that's okay, because we have other things to clear out like right over here. So let's get to this one. Oh, got a couple more Cocos to get. And a few more at the other end of the platform. We're coming up on it. And remember that once it becomes nighttime, I need to go back to that other one. But it's not too much of what I need to worry about for now, because it's not nighttime. Ooh, a bunch more hearts. And yeah, I think it's right over this one on this platform. This one also requires nighttime. This is the one by the uh, Eggman ship. I don't see any others for the time being, but it looks like I could get some level ups over here. So maybe those are the two things I should focus on. Hard to say, but there is two of them. I don't know if that changes anything, if it's the same guy just twice or what. Okay. You know what, let's go back a little bit then and just sort of sweep our way back up until it's nighttime then. Oh, but I do have you. Uh, hmm, that was a good sleep. Oh, you've returned. Do you see, do you need my insight one for more? Allow me to unlock the power of the seeds you've gathered. So we should be able to get some attack and defense boosted from this. To 17 and 19, oh, that's great. That's a huge jump up. Glad to see that for sure. Um, ring capacity to speed. Speed to ring capacity. I don't know what these mean. Oh, oh, so maybe I don't need to talk to the other one to upgrade them. I don't know. Oh, I gave up some speed to increase my ring capacity. Oh, interesting. Well, I don't know if I wanna do that too much. I think speed is more important for me right now. I, I've slowed your steps so that you may carry more rings. Anything more? No, thank you. 
Interesting. So I'll have to keep that in mind. But for right now, he's gonna find more of the Cocos because they are the key for us uh, to getting more level ups. Swath of Destruction is our next trophy earned. And that might just be for destroying boxes and stuff, which, you know, I needed to do, so. The only way to destroy these ones is by slamming on them. You can't dash into them. So that makes it a little bit more time consuming. Still don't know how to fight those enemies. Oh, we have one of these, which I haven't used too much, but we can do like these little dashes. That gives me more experience, which is always good. I need to use those more often whenever I find them. I don't even know if I'm going the right way right now, though. Sort of all over the place. I think I sort of am. Yeah, sort of. Uh, but there's plenty of hearts around here, so maybe it would just be better just to focus on what's in front of me. Like, apparently, there's a heart way up there. Okay. Which, I don't know if the hearts go into 100% completion. I can only guess that they do. I'm just trying to find out what's the best way to go over to that one. I think this little run launch ramp. Yep, here we go. And then X, got it. Up here, no, I pressed the wrong one. Try that again, square. X, got it. And up there, got it. And that was pretty good. Whoa, wrong one. I should get a good chunk of experience from all that too. So, yep, we're up to level eight now. That's what we like to see, so. Where can we tackle things next? That's one heart down. Another heart is waiting for us way over here. I think it's gonna be floating in the air there. So it looks like typically I'm supposed to land on that. Just looking at, around at the environment will answer a lot of questions for us normally. But we're just gonna loop around super quick, but is this, this is bringing me to a totally different spot, isn't it? Oh, I can do more of these. There you go, that was fun. Oh, there's you again, which is nice, but not the one I'm looking for. Still have that there, but that heart still isn't cleared out. How do I get to that one? Because I figured it would be that, but maybe it is and they just jumped off at the wrong spot. So I don't see, oh, here we go. Maybe I'm wrong. See, so I can just jump over to this side. And now that we're here, I think it'll be somewhere around here. I'd hope. I'm going so fast. Whoa. Maybe up on this one? I think so. There it is, boom. That was awesome. So really good progress there. Taking a look at our map again. We have one over here. So I definitely wanna go grab that. I think that was over this way actually. Okay, getting a little confused, getting a little turned around. What do I do to get that one? Once again, I think we wanted to sort of back up Take a good look. I guess from over here. It is a lot of fun though, just to run around this world and find these collectibles like this. Okay, wait a minute, turn around. I mean, I think this is right, but maybe it's not. Because weren't we here before? Hard to tell. See, now I'm just going down here. I think we've done this before. Can I go back the other way? <laughs> I guess not. Um. I could, from this thing, hop onto it. Whoa, okay, this could be something. Whoa, we're way up here. I think this is it. I think we're onto something. Wait, why? Why did I get launched so far? Let's try that again. So don't press anything for here, and then we go. So these blocks are meant to stop us, I suppose. So I should probably not break them. And then I hop onto this rail. We're back up. And I have to, whoa, really move it right now. I'm a little lost on like, yeah, there we go, where it could be. I finally found it. So that was an amazing combo of things. So earn up some extra experience, but you might notice it's nighttime now. So let's rush back over to this. Make the most of our time here and tackle this one. With it finally being nighttime, I can just hit it. So why does this one need to be night? Just for aesthetic sake? Suppose so. We have to go all the way down there and land on that panel. But any amount of the map we can clean off, the better. Really gotta move for this one. Almost there though. 
Oh yeah, we have plenty of time. So far, none of these map clearing ones have been all that much of a challenge. But that does finish that off and gets us another seed. Look at all that. Unfortunately, it doesn't, was that not the one I was trying to do? I don't know, maybe I actually accidentally ran into another one. That'd be nice. No, 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 I'm not done over there. Hold on. Wanted to get that, that'll give me a ton of experience. No, so I must have done another one. <laughs> That's great. Certainly not gonna complain about that. Cause that means it's just one extra we can find. Cause that's been the big struggle is actually finding them all. So back over here, we need to make some the most out of this time. It should be right beyond here. So it was pretty close to this one, but not the same one. All right, almost there, almost there. Hopefully it doesn't become morning. Whoa. So what's the deal with this one? Do I have to circle these trees? Maybe a little bit faster than that. Um, whoa, that did do something. So let's do that for all of them. We got that one and that one. Was there any more in the forest like that? Yes, there's some more over here. So I might just be able to even get multiple of them. There we go, oh, we found all five of them and that clears another mission. It really is interesting how they're similar to Korok seeds in um, Breath of the Wild, how they're usually these inconspicuous little challenges, you don't really know too much about them. You just sort of have to wing it and hope that this is what you're supposed to do. And most of the time, you know, they're pretty intuitive. So there's that done. There was that other mission way by here um, near the Eggman robot that I wanna focus on clearing out now. Before it becomes too late, we have to wait another whole day. So I don't know if this is the fastest way over, but I'm certainly just trying to get there. I think from here is fine. If I were to hop onto this rail, these rails are supposed to be more convenient for getting around the places. So that's what I'm trying to make the most of. Yeah, okay, this seems good. We're getting there pretty quick now. Oh no. Um, can I get to that? Oh, if I could have, that would have been good. But now I'm down here. It feels like it's becoming brighter out. Luckily, I can just run up the side of this mountain. We're fine. Come on, come on. I was trying to get there. This guy's being mean, trying to get me. Almost there, don't want it become daytime. Oh. I think it might be too late. I don't know. Wait a minute. Yeah, what is this? Oh, was that it? Okay, do that again. Where is it now? Way down there. So I'll get this one. Over here. And now where? Oh, on to the Eggman ship, okay. Oh yeah, I haven't been up here. I tried to before. Whoa, what is this? Wait, did I hit max rings? Power boost, if Sonic boosts with the maximum number of rings, he can run at even higher speeds while emitting blue lightning around him. When the ring count is reduced, it will revert back to normal boost. That is so cool. Whoa. So I'll check that out in just a moment, but look at this, we got another mission done. I'm gonna seed for that one. That was crazy. Okay, so where is that seed gonna be? Right over there. Look at us go. Whoa, we're so sparkly. That is awesome. I love it. So we can go beyond our normal ling, ring limit, I guess. Just not by a lot. We're at 406 now. Um, gotcha. This is so neat. So what else can we do around here? I'm still mostly focused on the missions, but with that being said, I don't really see any. I'm sure there's still more around. We just haven't stumbled upon them. So I guess I'll just have to sort of manually search for them at this point. Um, if that's the case, I should clear out as much as I can that's around me. So, right there. Where was that at? I mean, it does say on my map that there's one over there. So maybe, or, or whatever it's called, the tracker on the top. So I guess I should just listen to that. I'm guessing it's another one that requires uh, it to be nighttime. Oh, here it is. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, so what's the deal with this one then? That didn't do anything. Oh, maybe these buttons. I'd have to guess. Got it, and last one. There we go. 
and that's gonna do it for us. M013 is completed. See, just look at the top radar too, that'll help. Wow, that got rid of a huge chunk, but there's still another decent one over there. So after we get this done, I think that'll be like a huge portion of the work just out of the way. So it's over here. Oh, and there's a treasure chest to get on this side. Well, don't mind if I do then. Just gonna wrap around and miss. Hold on, did that work? It did, hooray! We're still all charged up here, which is definitely something else, you know? And the more we level things up, the faster we'll be able to go, which is always fantastic. It looks like we haven't quite reached it, but it's somewhere around here, I'm sure. Just gonna keep watching the radar. And it's right here, okay. A couple more Cocos, and we just have to stand on this thing. It's one of these missions, so these can be tricky, but I think I just do this. Ooh, first try, not bad. All right, Cronus Island Explorer, trophy earned. So is that just for clearing the map? I'm pretty sure. Ta-da, very nice. So obviously there's still plenty more hearts to find, and I guess Cuckoo, Cuckoo's to find? Wait, what was that? Whoa! Fast travel to all portals unlocked. That's gonna be useful. Fast travel. Once all challenges are completed and the entire island map is revealed, fast travel between portals will become available. Fast travel can be accessed by changing the map filter in the upper right corner of the screen. So first let's get our seed and we'll investigate how the map works now. But that is crazy to know. So back up here, I'm gonna grab that guy. And let's take a look at the map real quick. So we currently have all the icons, but we can filter those out so it's just the fast travel icons or the side story ones. I think that's really useful. And the Elder Cocos, the Hermit Cocos, the Fishing Spots, the Chaos Emerald Vaults, which there wouldn't be any more that I haven't already gotten. Yeah, the, the four there. Um, the Guardians, which I guess this means I've defeated them. This one I haven't. So we'll definitely have to try to defeat all the, the uh, Guardians, but the memory tokens, I think, are some of the more difficult ones. And then there was one island mystery, which I guess I got done, so. And then all the challenges, and then the portals again. So I guess I'll, yeah, I'll go to this one, one seven. So wait, we never did one six. Aha, so there are more levels. Let's do one six and then one seven. That'll be great. So right at the base of this um, waterfall, as you can see, is another level. I didn't realize that we hadn't accessed this one, but yeah, it makes sense. I guess we were too focused on some other things once we got here, so grab some of you guys. And before we go into it, I don't know if these apply in these levels, but we should at least check out our skill tree and see what I can improve. Because I think we wanted to do this, the stomp attack. Press circle during a combo. A stomping attack that swoops down from above onto an enemy. And it costs 10 skill points to earn it, but we'll try it out right now. So manual input for stomp attack. So we just beat them up like this, and then we can slam with circle. Did that work? I don't know. So I'm making a combo. Oh, there we go. Nice. So let me try that again. Awesome. I like it. Okay, so we're gonna exit the training with that and try out this level one six. So after unlocking this level, we get the Kronos Island Memories Trophy. Huh, you'd think we'd get that for, I don't know, interacting with some other characters for like the memory stones or something, I don't know. But uh, let's try out this level. I'm really interested to see what the uh, environment will be for this one. Because we've seen some really interesting callbacks from, you know, Green Hill Zone, the Chemical Plant, to a couple of others. I want to see what this one might be all about. Oh, okay, we're back to Green Hill Zone, but this time it's side-scrolling. So, yeah, we'll see how this one goes. For right now, I'm just sort of focused on getting all the Red Star Rings is always our first run goal. These levels are so pretty. I just love all the different paths and stuff in the background. I don't get to appreciate it too much because you know I'm so focused on what's ahead of me as I'm playing, but it really is such a pretty game so far. Ooh, we'll go down this way. Okay. Alternate paths working out for us here. Oh no, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> it's okay. If I could get a good couple of rings though while we're sort of taking our time through these levels, I think it's worth it. Nice. And we'll go this way. We do get a checkpoint. And I'm going to hope that the next red star ring is up here. It is, okay, that's the second one. So we haven't missed any just yet. Got a 
few more rings here. I'm guessing it's gonna be a few hundred if we wanna get them all. Or get that one challenge done at the least. Okay, I didn't see too much over here, yeah, so. Can just get onto this. Whoa, we're way up here now. Oh no, oh no, I fell. <laughs> Maybe that's for the better though. Maybe we'll find some other stuff around here. Got it. I feel like the side scrolling just feels a bit odd in this game so far. It feels a little off. But the 3D running around has been so good that like I hardly mind. Go, and there's another one. Ah, wait, can I get it? Oh, come on, no, 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 I gotta go back. Find a way back up there. And then, got it, much better. Okay, ignore you then, because I'm also trying my best not to get hit. Gotcha. It seems like we're well on the path for right now. I'm definitely taking my time through this level though. We're already two minutes into it, but there it is. Okay, so five all red star, or all five red star rings and 95 normal rings. That will be enough. So all we have to do is go through this again and get the S rank time. A minute and 15 seconds will hopefully not be too bad. Let's try again and see. Okay, so for this one, obviously, I don't need a ton of stuff going on here. For most enemies, it almost always seems faster to dodge them than it does, well, I need to stop there, than it does to actually go through them, unless I'm trying to get like some extra height like this, but even then it won't let me boost, so didn't really end up working out. But if you kind of sort of go right past them, seems like a better idea. I don't know if that was all that much faster. Ow, ooh, that definitely wasn't. Okay, going over there. Ah, that's also not good. <laughs> I'm not spending my, oh, come on, I can't even get up. There we go. But at least I'm going a different path of the level. I just don't think it's a good one. So let's retry. And go a bit faster this time, shall we? So I'm just gonna jump through these guys. Look at how much faster that was. And if I dashed into them and then flew way up in the air, that would have been a whole situation. Only time I see it good is, you know, like when it's them like pretty far in the distance. But even that, like, I don't know. I don't think that was the best use of our time. But it should be fine. All the other levels besides one two have not been like splitting hairs in terms of like the speed we need. I should have stayed up there, but we'll just keep with this. Keeping a good pace is more important than rushing through at times. And we'll slam down, keep it moving. Come on, Sonic, really? All right, go, go, go. Oh no, I'm falling down here. We still have about 20 seconds left to get through the rest of this. Now we're way up this way. As long as I can just keep moving. Ow, no, no, come on. I just signed a moment too soon. Just trying to dash through this like that. Jeez, and I didn't even see those spikes. This is brutal all of a sudden. What even hit me there? Come on, and it looks like I'm gonna be a bit too late for this one. Ah, uh, yeah, because it's it's already one one minute twenty. I think we need one fifteen, right? So I made a lot of mistakes on this one, but it shows you know there's room for improvement. But I think we got the right idea. It's it's still a better time than last time. I just need to keep running through it and learn the layout a bit more. I don't know if we're going the fastest way. It definitely doesn't seem like it. Seeing how we're still so far behind that time. Oh my gosh! You're kidding me. This one, okay, it's starting to feel a lot longer of a level than I thought. I must have taken the long way. Yes, I absolutely did. So I'll have to just keep chipping away at this one until we get that S rank. But it might not be an easy one. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Oh, I did it. And I made some major mistakes on that one too. So the fact that I was still able to get through is really nice. Okay, so I cleared all four missions with that one. I'm glad it's out of the way. So far, I don't like the side scrolling ones as much as I like just the normal. 3D ones. Those ones are a lot more fun to me and just to learn the routes and to get through them quickly feels more satisfying than the side scrolling ones. They sort of feel clunky in like a slow way. I don't know how to describe it, but either way, we're through. That means we have one more level up to tackle in this whole area, so I'll definitely get to that as soon as possible. But that was very nice. We got four ball keys out of the way and we should get an additional three. Yep, so I guess it's seven more to our collection. So I guess the most we can get from each one is seven. All right then, so let's take a look at our map. If we're looking for more of those uh, portals, right? Yep, there should be one last one here and there's also another uh, sort of sage thing to talk to. 
I still don't know how to get these guys. Maybe just when they're not spinning? Yeah, that seems like it makes more sense. Okay, cool. So we're zooming back through this way. We should be able to find it. But yeah, I'm going to guess that the hearts add to our percentage, but before we try to start collecting all the hearts, because there is a ton of them, I did want to check the map to see if it'll give me a percentage number. How do I get over there, though? Uh, I do see one heart sort of glimmering over that way, but tips. What is this for? The armor covering, okay. That's cool and everything. I'm not even trying to fight you at the moment, but you know what, I'll give it a try. Ow, never mind. <laughs> Jeez. Now I just want to get rid of them. Because I might have to do some stuff over here. Okay, one more time. Got it. Much better, much better. So there's out defeated. We get a seed. How am I getting over there? I don't see a simple way of doing it. Whoa. Maybe this thing? What is this? Uh, good question. What are these? Uh, okay. Wow, that was cool. Wasn't expecting any of that. This world is full of mysteries and I love it. So there's more to do here for sure, including getting a couple more cocoa. We need to connect three more of these. I only see two. Uh, will that work? It will, but I have to go back that way. Gotcha. Well, that shouldn't be too bad. Should it? There we go. And then we're finally here. Let's talk to Sage real quickly. Because Sage always has something interesting to interact with, so that's good. I see a couple of purple coins up there too. to return from cyberspace so freely? I don't know, I guess I'm just that awesome. Yeah, <clears throat> although I bet you'd have better insight on that. I will not share data with the enemy. Besides, your survival may be a fluke. You cannot cheat fate forever. Wow, thanks for the encouragement. I'll keep doing it until I figure out how to rescue Amy. Yeah, it doesn't matter if this is all one big trap or if you keep throwing weird robots at me, nothing's gonna slow me down or stop me. Count on it. Okay, so Sage still sees us as an enemy, but maybe we'd get more accomplished if we worked together as friends. What will that button do? I guess it just gives us a jump pad so we can get back here much more easily. That's good. For right now, I'm not too worried about it. We're just going to get some of those, slam onto this thing. And that's a lot more experience for us and another seed. So let's try this at the final normal level or portal level, whatever you want to call it, for Kronos Island 1-7. So we just have to do everything that we've done with the previous areas. I'm hoping this one's a 3D one and not a 2D scroller. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Whoa, look at this place. Oh man, this is cool. What does that say? Oh yeah, we can use the uh, the, the ring dash. Wow, we're moving quick. Hold on, I see that. There, <laughs> this is so cool. All right, uh, yeah, bounce off the helicopter. This is definitely giving some Sonic Adventure vibes. Okay, don't fall off the side. Uh, can I get up on these? I can. Whoa, this is awesome. All right, grab these ones. Not too bad. I just feel like uh, every time we get through something, this game just pleasantly surprises me. <laughs> That's just so wonderful. Okay, up this way. What was that? Okay, just a little balloon. Nothing too crazy. And I'm looking around for the next red ring. It's gotta be around here somewhere. But I guess I'll just dash through this step for now. Huge loop here. Oh man. Oh, it's up there, it's up there. So if I dash onto that, how does this work? Do I press it when it's blue? Yeah, when it's blue. That makes sense, you know, it's, it's Sonic after all. And there's our fourth one. We did miss one, unfortunately. So I'll have to go back for that in another run, but that's okay. We're still figuring out the level anyways, and we still might be able to, you know, get the next one. And there it is. So we got four of them very easily. And there we go, there's that level done. That was a cool one. These levels have been so short, but so refreshingly interesting. 
Um, we're gonna go again. All we're missing, we got everything else there on the first try. Let's find that third red star ring. Oh, it's right down there. I must have just run right past it. Well, there we go. I got it. Now I just need to complete the level. Is that whole section where all the tanks were? So that's pretty cool. Now I can just run through the rest of the level, which, you know, I really don't mind with how much of a blast this one was. We can just get back up here. Don't even need any of this stuff, but one thing interesting about these levels too is that there's no score system. It's just time and rings, you know, and the red star rings. Because that's how us ranks were determined in Sonic Colors Ultimate, which I played. Um, is that you needed a certain score, not a certain time. Not the case here, so definitely changes things up in an interesting way. But there we go. Now 1-7 is fully completed. That's all I needed from that one. So there we go. All of the stages are done here in Cronus Island. Ooh, all right. So we're finally back here. We'll get a couple more keys as we did before. So there'll be seven more keys for us. Seemingly plenty, plenty more than we need, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see if that's actually the case. Okay. Well, actually, I don't know if we got the bonus three there. I wasn't looking. I mean, I think we did. You were at the 64, so we definitely did. Um, what more can we do in this area? So, like I said before, we've gotten all the portals done, as far as I can tell. Um, I wish there was just a proper list. Like, on the top left, you can see that there's some kind of list, but it's not really. It's a little bit weird. Um, but we have the fishing stuff we could do more of, but there was the challenges. We've gotten all the challenges done from what I can see. Um, the Island Mystery, the only one I could find, right there, done. The memory tokens are what are littering the map still by quite a number. And then there's a guardian over here I can still tackle. So maybe the guardian will be something. And then the Chaos Emerald Vaults and the fishing spot too. The Hermit Cocos, which both of those, uh, the Hermit Cocos and the Elder Cocos want our attention. But before we go too much crazier with it, I do want to check. If we go to our maps, you know, it doesn't tell me my percentage here, but if I go back to Ares Island and then go back here, it should tell me. Oh, it says I'm 100%. Okay. That's awesome, so we've technically 100% completed Kronos Island. It's mapped 100%, but it's not completed 100%. I don't know if there's a core difference, but I figure we'll spend you know, at least some time in today's episode getting uh, some things done. I want to, at the least, go to, where was it? The, Um, the side stories. I want to get these done. I'm sure more might pop up as we explore more through the game. What is with this island way out here? <laughs> Don't know if there's a way to that one, but that seems interesting. Um, for right now, we'll do these for sure and see what, what comes of, of them. Okay, so the first one I want to get to is way up there. So what's the easiest way to do that? I'm not really seeing... Oh yeah, okay, so I don't think Amy was here before, and that's where I'm saying that it might be one of those things where it does take us multiple, you know, returns to these areas to actually get everything done. Well, I say that, but I don't think I actually got over this far before. Oh, come on! Come on, get out of here! That was so baloney. Try it again, try it again. All right, get on top of this one. Hit it again one more time. I think. Sort of being picky, I just want it yet to bring me up here. Because it spins around like crazy, but then eventually it stops, right? I hope so. Here they go. Excuse me? There we go. Go to that one. I'm pressing the button. I don't know what the game wants from me. I'm pressing the button to dash when it shows that I can press the button to dash and it just isn't really doing anything. It's it's it's, it's very silly. It's It's very silly. Okay, so we're gonna try going this way instead. On the right, it seems like maybe this is an easier way to get there, because the other way is just not working. It'll give me the little click noise, it'll show me on the screen that I can dash to it, but Sonic's just like, yeah, not feeling it. So, I don't know. Let's try this again, right there. That wasn't so bad. And we're finally over here. Oh my goodness, that took some work. We also can get some other things, like the cocoa and the heart. I will, whoa. Slam on this for another seed. Those are also good. I can get a treasure chest here too. Okay. So we'll grab that and I'll talk to Amy a little bit. And there's the last guardian we need to defeat as well. So I, I guess I should try that just to be sure it's all done. Hi, Amy. How are you? Hanging in there, Amy. Is your condition 
well, I don't know, uh, uncomfortable? It's certainly unsettling. But it makes a big difference being able to at least talk to you. Before you freed me, I couldn't see or hear anything clearly. It was like looking into a kaleidoscope that was always shifting. I couldn't tell if I was coming, going, or moving at all. I'd have gone crazy if you hadn't gotten me out. Uh, you're tough. I know you'd have hung in there. Still, I'm glad I could get you out. And I'm not gonna stop until you're back to normal. Okay, so we talked to Amy there. What I think I want to do now is go tackle that fight. So, let's see. Um, what did I need? Guardians, right here. We'll tackle this guardian. We'll see if getting rid of all the guardians will actually get me anything. I'm not really sure. It's interesting how we're building this network of grind rails, though. That helps us get around a lot better. I don't know if this is really the way I should be going. Though. I mean, I see it over there. Maybe I could just do that. Okay, I'm coming to get you, buddy. I just need to find them and take it out. Okay, well, we're still making our way over, but I actually ended up stumbling upon the final Amy we needed to talk to. So let's do this. As far as I understand, this is the last story, quest, information thing I need to find here. So maybe more will pop up as we progress through the main game. We'll have to wait and see, but for right now, it should be technically done. And this so is where we found all the Chaos Emeralds. Something's bugging me about these ruins. The whole reason we came was because Tails detected the Chaos Emeralds were drawn here, right? And now I'm finding digital keys and confinement towers that seem custom made to hold the Emeralds. Like half this stuff was built with them in mind. Maybe the ancients used the Chaos Emeralds in the past. We've learned of other past civilizations who did too. Yeah, but those groups tried to use them. And the stuff here seems all about containment. Maybe they knew something about their power that we don't. The Chaos Emeralds are still pretty mysterious, even after all we've done with them. Huh, interesting to keep in mind. Kronos Island Expert, trophy earned. So that's the kind of stuff I wanna see. So yeah, let's head over here. I'm sort of close to them. Maybe I could, oh no, uh, wrong way. Try that again. Dash through all that, and now I'm way up here, and at the least we're gonna get some major experience with this, right? We get ourselves another heart, and I got it. Okay, so. Back through again, and then I am not quite close enough to get them, but I definitely want to try. Because if I could just keep going over here, they should pop out on the other side right as I'm ready for it. No, they are moving way too quick for that, so I'm hoping they'll just keep looping up and down this ravine, and at some point I can just jump on them. Ooh, but there was a seed for us. Because now it is all the way over there, and I just got over here, it goes so fast. Okay, here come here it comes again. So will it go back down here? Because if so, that's exactly what I need from it. And it looks like it will. So I'm just going to try to, ooh, I hope I make it, I hope I make it. Is the camera changing is sort of throwing me off. I got it, I got it, okay, we're fine. Now we're really moving. So just like last time, a few episodes ago, we just need to race down this thing as fast as we can, dodge whatever bullets it might throw at us, go on the crazy loops and spirals it throws on it too and hopefully we'll get somewhere. Okay, let's let our boost restore. But then we're gonna dodge this stuff as much as we can. Come on, Sonic, we can do it. Uh, right there, got it. So we're just gonna do as much damage as we can muster right now. And then, ooh, that was not good. And then I need to, there we go. If we do that kind of stuff, I can at least do some major damage to it this way. I don't know if it'll be enough to, come on, come on. Almost there. No, 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 just a little bit more. Ah, darn, I should have tried to parry that. Instead of just rushing it, parrying it would have been way better. Yeah, I can't do the super attack when that happens. Those give me the option, it just slows down time. Okay, but either way, we'll just do everything we can to catch up here. Run the loop. Oh, a second one, whoa, look at us. This is crazy, but we'll definitely get it the next time we're close. That'll be great. It's gonna send a couple more shots our way, I'm sure of it. Here they come. Come on, now we're closing in. Ooh, but I am about to run out of boost, so let it restore a little bit. Then we're back to it. Uh, I don't think it's worth boosting throughout the loops. And that's where we should wait for it to restore. Come on, this is where I reached it before. I'm almost there. You got it, Sonic. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Okay, it doesn't matter too much. Just hit it there. We're out of rings, but let it be. 
Guardian defeated. And that should be the last one of the area. There's another gear for us, so I'll grab that. And we're good to go. So I definitely need to find some more rings soon, because I'm fresh out of them. The birds are following me around. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, let's talk to you. Hmm, that was a good sleep. Uh, oh, you've returned. Do you mind saying what more? Okay, so we can unlock a little bit more power with these seeds at the least. It's not a ton, but should jump us up maybe a few more levels. Oh yeah, quite a few. Awesome. So I'll happily grab that, but no thanks. No more I need from you for now. I'll grab this little guy I see there, and I wanna move on. So as you can see with the portals, everything done, challenges done, island mystery done, memory tokens are still sort of looming above us, but the guardians are cleared out. That didn't give us a trophy though, so I, I don't know how important that really was. What's crazy is that it seems like there's a lot of stuff up here, right? But there's nothing up there, I don't think. Yeah, it's all over here. This is where the big boss fight was, and there's clearly other stuff around, but we can't get to those things, so maybe they'll open up later, not quite sure. I do wanna do the fishing stuff, but that might have to be its own episode. For right now, I think if there's one more thing we can do, it's going to be spending our levels. So, yeah, all the cocas we've acquired throughout today's episode, I think now would be a great time to cash those in. But the next episode I'm so excited, we'll be going back to the Ares Island and seeing what the story is gonna be like there. But for now, I'm all out of boost as I try to get over here. Ready and got it. Hey there, buddy. Welcome back, my dear Coco. Thank you, Sonic. I shall grant you more power. Uh, so what shall we start with? I want to increase just a little bit of ring capacity, I think would be good. Okay, it's not by much. It's literally by six rings, okay. So we're level three there. But I think then I mostly want to focus on the speed. The speed seems so much more important to me. Um, increase speed. So, speed increase from four to five. I don't know how many of these cocoa I can spend here with this, but I'll just keep doing this until we're done. Okay, so I just exchanged all those. So we're now level eight with our speed, which is really cool. I'm still totally out of rings, but as far as I can tell, that might just be everything we can do in today's episode. Obviously, I could get some more of the hearts, but that's gonna be a huge grind, and maybe just something we should dedicate its own episode to, because it'll just take us way even longer just to find all these little things, especially since it seems like we don't need them. We're up to 150 of them at this point, and it's just the number doesn't seem to ever go down. So we'll definitely get them sooner or later, but if it's not necessary, for us to like really make any good progress through the game. I think that's kind of thing we'll save for later, especially also the fishing too. I love the fishing, it was a lot of fun, but it's also another time consuming thing that might have to be its own episode. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Sonic Frontiers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.